selection for the SAS is a test like no other. There are no limits on Special Forces selection. We will expose every part of your being, especially your emotions and your fears. If there's a weak link, or if you're struggling that day, it will be your demise. Fucking prize for the fact you've been allowed to come here. A new group of celebrity recruits have volunteered to leave their comfortable lives behind. I am a competitive beast. Fight! I'm somebody who always wants to do things 100% and win. Good. Now you're up here. They'll be trained. What's that We're under fire. We're under fire. To, to survive the impossible. I've got to carry your fucking body back down to your fucking family. Chief Instructor Ant Middleton and his team of directing staff will make no exceptions. It doesn't matter. You matter. Tonight, you hang on for fucking dear life. A hideous 100 meter rope hang. Do not be the first one to drop. Come on! Uh, I'm out, number 14! Separates the fearless. Obviously, I am going to be up against young bucks. Move! From the feeble. No! Keep the fucking noises down. No! Ignore the pain. Do not let go of that rope. Fucking hell! Then, letters from loved ones Oof. will either lift their spirits if you don't beat me, you'll never live it down. <laughs> or bring them crashing down. And... Let's go! Come on! Ah, we we you you me. A bloodthirsty beasting... We are gonna go all night! ...with only one way out. We will keep going till one of you PWs. Which recruit won't last? Don't be a fucking idiot! Give me your number and this will fucking stop! After a week of relentless tasks and meager rations... Who's ready for some pain? Just six recruits remain on the course. <sighs> Exhausted and in pain, they prepare for another torturous day. On selection, pain is inevitable. When I did my selection, every day you would remove your boots and you would wring your socks out. It was, they were full of blood, you had blisters all over your feet, and then the next day when you went to do your tasks, oh. the first part of that day was just living through that pain. My motivation to do the course is to build my self-belief. I've, I've lost a lot of self-belief in my physical ability. So finding that confidence again, that's the, the challenge. I really believe that I'm not done yet. As one of the oldest recruits on the course, oh. number nine, Craig McLaughlin, Fuck me. is feeling his age. You know, when you're young and you are fit, and your elbows aren't shot and your hip isn't cactus. It's just easy. I'm confident that I'll get through it. <coughs> but they're very real concerns for me. <coughs> you hear that? Uh, that's my elbow. First and foremost, I want to prove to myself that I'm capable of doing this. Yeah, try. It, there also is a sense of me trying to prove so many people wrong in the past that have told me that I'll never achieve that or I'm not capable of doing this. And um, yeah, I, I've copped that a hell of a lot. 
You know, there's not too many women that have completed the course and, and have passed an SAS selection. So I hope that I can kind of follow in their footsteps and, and be there on the final day as well. Are yours dry or is it wet? Well, I left them out here. Oh, did you? Okay. And I came out, I actually came out at 1.58. Yeah. And stoked this again. Yeah. Oh, there you go. To try and run. <sighs> Breakfast time. What did they just say? Breakfast. Oh. As duty recruit, Craig dishes out another unappealing breakfast. A googie. Two, please. Two googies. Now, I'm afraid we're out of nutmeg. Yeah. We're out of brown and raw sugar. Sugar, damn it. And um, There's some, nothing better. someone stole the honey, so. But despite the need for nourishment, eating is a struggle for some. <laughs> Just think it's a hash brown. It's a hash brown. How many eggs are there left? You'll be thrilled to know. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be thrilled to know there are four. Four <laughs> eggs. Just waiting <laughs> for us. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing, I'm fine. Get it down. <laughs> Swallow. <laughs> Get it down, sphincter lips. <laughs> sphincter lips. <laughs> it's what he calls himself. Is it like trying to eat a... Swallow a, like, dry wheat pig? Oh, dry wheat pig's easy compared to <laughs> these googs at this point of the day. <laughs> well, thanks for Thank coming. You. <clears throat> What's your restaurant breakfast. called? Give it a name. Call it Sphincter Lips. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Sphincter Lips. As the recruits head out for another punishing day on the course, Come on. they must dig deep to face their first task. Let's go, the Bergens. We're the most highly trained at what we do in the world. Move. We live in chaos. We live in the uncomfortable. One straight line, how we are. Where courage and bravery is forced upon us. Set a fucking sprint. Go number 13, let's go, move. Get moving. You should be fucking shifting like number 13. For the recruits, courage is facing absolutely anything that's in front of you. Let's go, number seven. To commit to a mission, to a task. Rest the line out in a straight line, face me. Believing in yourself. That's what true courage is all about. As you can see, look up there. That great big canyon, that is a mere obstacle. Fucking patrol, we hit that. We ain't stopping. Mountain Troop have put two ropes over. We get across it every single time. We go up there in pairs. One will go up this ridge. The other will go up this ridge. DS will set you off and you will start moving this way into the center, this way into the center. Feet on one rope at the bottom and your hands at the top. Your whole body should be working in harmony. Hand eye coordination, it's a simple movement, keep it going. All about momentum. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. There will be three words of command from my mouth. Stop, continue. And my final word of command for you will be hang. You hang on for fucking dear life. Yes, your fucking arms and legs are gonna burn. 
do not be the first one to drop. To pass, the recruits must step off the rope Hang! and outlast their opponent. Even if your fucking oppo drops next to you, you keep going. Just because they drop doesn't mean that you drop. Everyone happy? Yes, yes sir. Uh, go. Make that happen quick time. The high mountain pass and hang. This task is designed to test them physically and mentally. The 13, stand up, follow me. Their body and their shoulders and their arms will be screaming with pain and fatigue. Seven, stand up. Follow me. But what we're looking for is to see who has the mental and physical resilience to keep pushing through. And straight up, you see the DS. It takes courage. Move number seven. Block out all of the pain when their arms and their bodies are screaming to give in. Come on, number 13, you can move faster than that, let's go. We want to see who can hang in the longest. What is their breaking point? First over the frightening drop is Olympic diver, Matt Midgham. OK, 13, just watch the ropes, don't stand on the ropes. Two hands on here, please. And one of the oldest recruits on selection. OK. <clears throat> Thai cave rescue hero, Craig Challen. This is the ultimate Gandalf and Gollum challenge. 13. Courage. Confidence. I suggest you pick a point out on the horizon, or this mountain here. Mm. Concentrate on that. Don't let the fear consume your fucking thought process, OK? All right, step out. Let's go. Yeah, nice pace. As soon as you feel those knots, just step through them. OK, both feet on. OK, keep going. Start sliding out. That's it. Small steps. There you go. Breathe, number 13. A long time to hold your fucking breath. There you go. Enjoy the view. That's it. Good work. Nice. Wide slides. Keep your feet contacted with the rope at the bottom. Good. A lot of people see me as a courageous person and I've got a, a medal that I've been given to prove that, but I don't think how other people see me is, is very important. Nice work, Craig. You know, what's important to the end of the day is how I see myself. Um, I don't think that I'm a particularly remarkable human being. I just try and do the best that I can do in the face of fear. That's good, number seven. Keep going. Courage. Courage in your convictions. Keep moving. Keep moving, 13. Don't stop. When I've got a goal, I'm good at doing what needs to be done to, to achieve it. Keep moving, number 13. Keep moving. I can't handle criticism very well, and so it's this avoidance of being criticised or failing. So, you know, if I do something perfect, then, then I'm protected from that. As an athlete, I've always kind of s struggled with that balance of, you know, how do you push yourself if you're too easy on yourself? But I've never really figured that out. Ignore the movement in the rope and just keep shuffling. Keep your head nice forward. Good effort, 13. Step over, well done. That's the first knot, passed. Well done. You have to wait for fucking Benjamin Button now, aren't you? That's good, number seven. Keep going. Number seven, let's go! Almost there. A few more feet, 13. Keep your head and eyes forward. Good effort. Number 13, stop! Number seven, stop! Hold there, number seven. Number seven, number 13!
Don't let go of that rope, 13. Car number seven. Show him his boss. Breathe through it. Take your mind somewhere else. Head back. There you go. Good effort, 13. Matt's like really straight. Keep hanging, number seven! <laughs> Hang in there, 13. <laughs> Got seven! Page to be a winner! Let's go, number seven! Do not give up! Breathe. Not seven. Do not let go of that road. Hanging above a horrifying 100 meter drop to the canyon floor. Keep hanging, number seven. Number seven, Craig, and number 13, Matt are desperate to outlast each other. Hang in there, 13. Go seven. Hayes to be a winner. Let's go, number seven. Do not give up. Breathe. Go seven. Do not let go of that rope. Ah, ah fuck it out. Fail, 13. Yes. Gandalf wins. Keep hanging, number seven, all the way. Keep hanging, number seven. <laughs> number 13. Fucking fail. Well done, seven. Well done. I've certainly got an instinct to, to push through and to keep going. Number seven, clear! The last thing I want to do is walk away and then look back later and say, I could have done better. Giving up, that's not a happy place to be. Looks like you're the winner. Why are your forearms so strong? Well, I don't know. They're not any bigger than yours, are they? It's not about size, it's about strength and endurance. It's all up here. <laughs> number four, number six, stand up. Number four, over to the right. Number six, straight up there. Straight up to the DS. Number six, reach that ridge. The next pair over the mountain pass. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm a bit nervous, stop. Are you Phil field commentator? Right, turn around. Abby Holmes. Step over the ropes. Mm. Hold on, two hands with this rope, shuffle along. Stay where you are. And international rugby star, Mahalia Murphy. You don't like heights, do you? No, stop. It's a good fucking test for you. Exposure, repetition, right? Exposure, repetition, every fucking time. Mm. It's about tuning into that fucking part of your brain that allows you to fucking push past that barrier. Be confident with this, yeah? Yes, stop. Own it. <sighs> okay, mount the rope. <coughs> okay. Yes, stop. Stay calm. Okay, start shuffling out. Slide your feet, remember? Keep sliding, don't stop, that's it. There you go, keep going. Nice, wide strides. I definitely won't let fear stop me. I want to be able to show that, you know, I'm a strong person and um, no matter what fear it is, that I'm going to face it and take it on and overcome it. That's it, good. Good pace. Good effort, number four. Keep going. Remember your breathing. Moving carefully, they manoeuvre to the centre of the ravine. Stay up, look up. 
back up. But remaining stable on the ropes <sighs> is taxing. Go on, keep going, that's good. At the knot, staff. At the knot. OK, just step over it. Just keep moving, number four. Don't worry about the rope moving. Slide your feet and your hands. Oh. Ah. Oh, fucking hell. Arms are burning, stuff. Arms are burning. Ah. That's it, number four. Keep going. Ah. Ignore the pain. Stuff. Oh. Push through. Uh, well done, number six. Uh, Keep going. Ooh. Get to that next knot. Mm. Yes, off. Take your mind away from that pain. Mm. Uh. Struggling to maintain grip, mm. both six and four uh. are fast uh. running out of energy. Uh. Uh. Keep the fucking noises down, for fuck's sake. Keep going, number four. I can't. Stop. Keep going, number four. Stop, I can't. Concentrate can't. on your breathing. Stop. Do not let go of the rope. Stop, I can't. Stop, I can't. Do not let go of that rope. Ah. Hold on, grip it. There you go, grip it. Ah. Grip the rope, overhand. Number six, ah. get past that next knot. Come on. Go on, keep going, number six. Stop! Come on! Stop! Stop! Coming up. Firstly, you know how incredibly proud Ellen and I are of you. We're proud of everything you do. A message from loved ones will make... Look at that. Beautiful. ...or break the recruits. Are you OK? Really? Are you all right? And... We are going to go all night! Seven, get a move fucking on. shit. Fucking holding the team back. An agonising beasting. We will keep going until one of you VWs go. Move. Forces a voluntary withdrawal. Move. Why are you always at the fucking rear? It's not fucking good enough. Fucking hell, number nine, you are like an empty wetsuit. You can fucking stop all their suffering right now. Give me your fucking number and they can go to bed. Push through. Uh, Keep going, number four. Uh, Keep sliding your feet. In a dangerous mountain insertion, the recruits must negotiate their way to the centre of constantly moving ropes. Uh, Ignore the pain. Uh, On command, they're to step off and hang 100 metres above the canyon floor. Uh, well done, number six. Keep going. Yes, off. To pass, they must outlast their opponent. I can't. Stop. Keep going, number four. Do not let go of the rope. Exhausted, both number four and number six oh. fight the burning arm and leg pain to stay on the ropes. Uh. Go on, keep going, number six. <laughs> number six, get past that next knot. Oh. Come on. I've definitely had challenges. Growing up, mum had a car accident. Um, you know, losing my sister, um, experiencing some racism through high school. With my family in the back of my mind kind of was the motive to push through everything. And um, yeah, it's definitely made me build resilience and character as a person. My go-to saying is, where your mind goes, your body follows. I definitely feel like when the body starts to hurt and starts to really, you know, want to give up, the mindset controls everything. Huh. Well done, number six. Keep going. Stop. Uh. Stop, I can't. Stop, I can't. Do not let go of that rope. Uh. Uh. Hold on, grip it. Uh. There you go, grip it. Uh. Grip the rope, overhand. Stop. Come on. Stop. Do not let go of that rope. Stop. Uh. Oh. Stop. Push through. Stop. Uh, 
Fucking hell! Uh, Number six! Yes, yeah, staff? Continue! Eyes up. Eyes up. Eyes mm. uh, up. Well done, number six. Keep going. Courage and focus. Continue. All the way. Despite her determination, number six fails to make the hang position. As a special forces soldier, you're constantly working in situations where there is imminent failure. Turn around. But it's about throwing yourself at it anyway. Having a sense of courage to complete regardless of the outcome. Number four. Fucking hell, I heard you from a mile away. Momentum was good. You kept that momentum, but when you stopped, what went wrong? My, yeah, that's when you I started start to, to freak shake. Out you and start shake. to freak. You start to scream. You start to give away your location. You're off that fucking rope, and guess where you are? You fucking hit the concrete here. I felt, never stop. I felt like my head was in a really good space going up there. It was just physically my hands. Physically, no, that's bullshit. Because physically, you're you are fucking strong as an ox. I've seen you. I don't care about your hands. I don't care about your forearms. I don't care about your fucking arms. I don't care about your wrists. It's all in your fucking head. Yes, stuff. You know what you need to do. Yes, stuff. Go, move faster, number four, faster, move. Fourteen, stand up. Follow me. Number nine, off you go. Other side. Yes, Dan. Go. A fucking solid effort from you, fourteen, yeah. Coming in with high expectations from the DS is the largest recruit, Tim Robards. Move, number fourteen, move. Against fifty-seven-year-old actor Craig McLaughlin. Hurry up, number nine. Move. That fucking client was fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Do the fucking work, number nine. As a bloke in his late fifties, obviously I am going to be up against uh, young bucks. <sighs> but um, I've stood up to some horrendous shit. Go on, number nine. That required more courage than I ever thought I possessed. A spew. Hey, you're not going to spew. So, would I call myself courageous? Actually, I think I am. I've got two wins from this side. I want to make that three. Okay? Yes. Yes, sir. So, you are going to fucking smash this. 14, let's go! Oh, 14. You look like the fucking walking dead. What's wrong? Okay, I can't even answer. I'm scared of heights, hate heights. If I get put in a situation where I have to deal with heights, I remind myself and I go, right, you've got to take that step. You've got to push yourself through there because on the other side of that is a stronger you, it's a better you. Fuck it, oh, you're blowing. So usually just bicep curls. I do a bit of everything stuff. If I want to push forward, the bigger the challenge, the, the more reward, and I feel that doesn't get much bigger than this. 14. How are you, you feeling? feeling? You're good. Scared, tired, sore. But I'm uh, going to try and get the job done. I'm going to use that fear, then just I can ramp it up and, and drive it through. OK, start moving up. Do not lose to the old boy. All right, go out there. Show him who's boss. Breathe, 14. There you go. That's it, we'll slow down. No need to go fast. Get into a nice pace, nice rhythm. That's good. Slow it down a bit. Save your strength. Good effort, 14. Don't worry about the rope moving, just keep shuffling. Keep sliding your feet. Breathe, 14. Take charge of your mind. You're almost at the first knot. 
Number nine, continue. That's you at the first knot, 14. Good effort. Keep moving. Do not lose to the old boy. So try and save those arms, number nine. You didn't need him. He's got money on number nine. No one. Number nine, stop! Number nine, stop! OK, focus, number nine. Moving rapidly, the oldest recruit reaches the centre ahead of Tim and must now wait for his much younger opponent. Courage and focus. Focus, 14, focus. Straight legs. Concentrate on your breathing. Hurry up, number 14. Move! As Tim struggles along the rope, Craig must use his diminishing energy to hold his position. <laughs> number 14, stop! Stand by! Should be able to hang there for hours, shouldn't he? Yeah. Upper body. Fucking hell, 14. I think that's a new record. <sighs> you have the grip of a yak. Fucking built for show, not for toe. Unfortunately. Strong effort from you there, number nine. The old man of selection has outlasted the much stronger Tim. You're fucking agile. You're fucking focused. Impressing chief instructor and... Number nine, clear! Good effort. You were fucking the fastest up there. You kept that momentum Was going. I? Well, I'm the old fucker. But I just had to prove to myself yeah. that I could do it. Well, you fucking certainly done that. Stay in that fucking headspace that you're in now, and you will be here at the end of the fucking course. Go. Let's go, number nine. Square. Returning from the harrowing task, Are we up? the DS have a timely reminder for the tired recruits. Keep moving! <sighs> it's gonna get a lot more intense, a lot harder, a lot longer, a lot more painful. That's why I'm inducing as much pain as I can. Sometimes our fucking body just gives up on us. This course isn't for everyone. Know when you're an asset. Know when you're a potential liability. Because moving forward, we just leave you behind. Trust me when I say it's going to get harder. The tempo is going to get ramped up. Do not be that person always lagging behind. Sometimes the courageous thing to do is to fucking let go. Let the team carry on and complete the mission. On the course, family will be in the back of my mind, um, pushing me through. Because I do want to make them proud and, you know, keep putting smiles on their face. but I do want to do what's right by the team and, yeah, not cost the team in any way. 
Things are about to get fucking ugly. Go, move! Move, hurry up! If I were dragging the rest of the team down, oh. while it might allow me to VW, it wouldn't make it easy. Oh. Just, I'll get in the back. Yeah, 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 through yeah of the course. Doorway. Are you bleeding? Yeah, there. Actually. In the dorm, the recruits tend to each other's injuries. Anybody, anybody else bleeding? I don't think so. And square away the camp. I've got an admission to make. I had my money on Timmy when you went head to head. Oh, did you? Yes. I was just determined to get out to the middle quickly. Yeah. Did you look down? N not once. Oh, fucking, I did. Looked down, and Ant was directly below me, and I thought I could shit on him. <laughs> <laughs> you wicked, wicked man. Except I would have had to let go with my hands to pull my pants down. And then we'd all have to <laughs> get reached for it. Miles? Mm -hmm. What happened to your sister, if you don't mind? Like oh, she had a heart attack. Yeah. She was only 24. Had a heart attack at 24? Mm. Oh, shit. Yeah, she was on, like, a lot of medication. She came down to Sydney for, like, a week because she had to see the liver doctor, mm. like, liver specialist, because her liver was bleeding. And in that week, she passed away before her appointment. Mm. At home, yeah. Just at home? Yeah. So sorry. That's mm. awful. So, yeah. It sucked. So how old Big were point. you then? She was 13. obviously older, yeah. Yeah, 13. Yeah. That's, that's tragic. <sighs> yeah. My poor mum suffered heaps. Like, yeah. she even lost um, the daughter after. Like, at like at birth, like, a couple of days oh, after birth. Did she? Yeah. Dominic, her name was. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, what a traumatic time for your mum. Yeah. Yeah. I'm losing my sister when I was younger. Um, really hit my family hard and we kind of had to really, you know, grief our own way. Experiencing that kind of gave me the, you know, the importance of, you know, appreciating your loved ones. It's definitely made me build resilience and character as a person and then I appreciate life so much. Now I think not taking things for granted and really using opportunities and stuff like that are really important to me and, you know, appreciating the loved ones around you and stuff like that. I really feel like I've learnt to, yeah, appreciate life and people around me a lot more. With the first task of the day completed, the DS meet to review the progress of the recruits. This morning's task, the high mountain pass, that was a good test. Yeah, and facing their fears, you know, with yeah. courage. Who was up first? Uh, 7 and 13. Gandalf and Gollum. Yeah. <laughs> um. Hang! Seven really surprised me, because I thought number 13 is a young lad is going to have the strength. Exactly, yeah. 13, as soon as that rope cut away, yeah. he dropped. Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, fail, 13. And seven kept on hanging. It was quite impressive. Just because number yeah. 13 went, yeah. normally they give up the ghost, don't they? Yes. They're like, Shh. And I was like, do not let go. And he hung on and hung on. And that's what I loved about number seven, to be mm. fair. Yeah. There, he was strong. Second pair up um, was... Seven. 
Number four and number six up next. <sighs> oh. <laughs> number six probably did the better out of the two. She managed to get further out. Ah. All she lacked really was the hang, but getting to the centre, that was hard work anyway. Mm. Yeah. Number four struggled on that, didn't she? She's scared of heights. What we're looking for <laughs> on this task is how do you operate with those fears? I can hear her echoing yeah. through the fucking valley. Yeah, yeah, like yeah screaming. Yeah, I was like, yeah. what the fuck is going on up there? Yeah. Yeah, and that's, that was it, wasn't it? It's the lack of emotional control. Uh, 9 and 14. Um, I was expecting a bit more from 14, if I'm honest, in terms of being able to hang there. Hurry up, number 14. Move! Number 14, he's jumping in and out of excuses, I think. Agree. I'd say number 9 had the advantage on that one. Number 9 got out there fast. Yeah. He was quick. Wow, talk about someone fucking embracing every single fucking hour and day of mm. this course. Yeah. And getting stronger and stronger yeah. and that learning curve, staying on that learning curve. Out of them all, mm. yeah, you know, this good is going to be a life changer for him. That was a good test to see the pressure of hanging in there, giving us absolutely everything, showing us why we should take you onto the final exercise. So we need to just thin this group out just a little bit more. We're going to ramp this fucking course up until the fucking um, last day, until the final exercise. And when I mean ramp up, we're going to fucking put that pressure on. Pressure today, we're going to hold that pressure all through the night. And we're going to do the beastings of all beastings tonight. We fucking take him to the depths of hell. Take another soul. <sighs> Next. What I have here are letters from home. An emotional decision. Does anyone not want to read their letter? Who makes the heartbreaking choice? No. Are you sure? And... Go! Fucking get in there! The day intensifies. Keep moving! Hurry the fuck up! with a treacherous water extraction. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck? With the DS promising to ramp up the intensity, the recruits will need to muster all their physical strength and courage God, the game, the game. to pass the next task. Courage, let's uh, show a little. Yeah, dig deep. Get out of the fucking vehicles. Come on, let's go. Start switching on. Hurry up. Let's go, let's go. Hurry up. The selection process is designed to build warriors. Come on, hurry up through a series of step-by-step -step tests. It's designed to build discipline, grit, determination, and courage. No. Courage is facing absolutely anything that's in front of you. To commit to a task, to yourself. It's about having the courage in your capabilities. Listen in very, very, very carefully. This is a multiple asset insertion and extraction in and out of water, OK? Fucking water in your fucking face. Fucking swirl. Everything comes into play. Everything going to be tested right now. In an emergency extraction behind enemy lines, the recruits will be transported at high speed to a designated drop point. Battling intense downdraft, they must make a perilous climb, one at a time, and make it to the safety of the Black Hawk in just three minutes. You've seen the fucking demonstration there. OK, monkey see, monkey do. Start breaking it down. Who's the strongest swimmer? Who are you going to leave in the water? When you climb that ladder, one at a time, as fast and as efficiently as possible. OK, once you get up that ladder, you're going to be fucking there, giving your mucker a fucking heads up. Communicate with each other. We fucking get the hell out of there. Fucking start switching on, is that understood? Yes, sir. Right, good, over to you. Okay, number four and number nine. 
fast as you can with your Bergen straight down to the DS. AFL commentator Abby and actor Craig Faster, come on! are chosen to start the difficult exercise. Fucking get in there! Hurry the fuck up! Go! Go! <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> come on then! We've got limited time! Sort your shit out, you two! Hurry up, you have a fucking small window of opportunity. Go! Let's go! Come on! Now we have one, two commands. Stand by and then go. Stand by! Okay, You're going. Now in the water, the pair must climb to the safety of the Black Hawk in only three minutes. starts the precarious climb. The cyclonic downdraft of the Black Hawk pushes Craig away from the drop point. I grew up on the coast. I grew up in water. But as a very young kid, I was caught in a rip. And when you're going under for that third and final time, <laughs> not giving in to your fear. That's where courage starts. <laughs> Exhausted from the swim, Craig starts the hazardous climb as the precious seconds tick away. Keep coming! Keep coming! Keep coming! Keep coming! If you can get over that initial hurdle, find the courage and the wherewithal. Keep going! Keep coming! Keep going! Okay. All the rest of the hurdles you'll take in a single bound. Yes, both hands here! Both hands here! This is a challenge like no other, but I'm here, I'm committed, and here I am, doing it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Craigie boy. Get your hands up, hands up, come on. Braving the treacherous conditions and boarding the Black Hawk within the time limit, Craig and Abby are first to pass the task. Be courageous. Be courageous. Now attempting the extraction mission, number 13, Matt Mitchum. Come on, move up. And number seven, Craig Challen. Go. The rib to ladder to extraction is a highly courageous task. When I give you the command, you are prepared to jump. You grab an important piece of information. Go! You have to get off of target and be picked up. It's the most extreme and dangerous way of getting on and off a task. This task is a great test of courage. They put one foot wrong. This could be disaster. Courage is feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Hurry up! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Do I have that grit? I would like to hope I do. How 
you respond to fear, that's 100% courage. Yes, yes, that's what I want to see. I don't quit, even when it's obvious that I should. Braving the conditions to board the Blackhawk, numbers 7 and 13 are successful. Oh, I know. <laughs> <My owl. laughs> the final pair, two of the strongest contenders on the course. We will go first. Are number 14, Tim. So we stand by. And number six, Mahalia. Stand by! Go! Go! to the ladder first is number six. Fucking hanging on underneath the ladder. But before she reaches the safety of the cabin, it's fucking, it looks like it's going to climb. Number 14 ignores the brief to climb one at a time. One at a time, we fucking said. What the fuck are you doing? Who is that? Over there. Minus what the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Jeopardizing not only his own safety, but also Mahalia's. Number 14! Get up! Get away! Yes! Yes! Come in! Come in! Go! safety protocol. You have no fucking clue! Number 14 and 6 have both failed the task. Think about your fucking actions! Fucking fail! Sit down there in your pairs. In your pairs, a little gap. Right, listen in. Remember what I said, everything that we do Serves a purpose. Remember that. Everything. What were you told about the climb? Uh, one at a time. One at a time. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. One at a time. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Yes, sir. Number 14. Yes, sir. You had the fucking perfect demonstration, didn't you? The perfect yes, demonstration. You saw two go before you, didn't you? Yes, sir. Do not start to crack your own fucking detail at this stage of the course. You fucking understand me? Yes, sir. Fuck me! Go. Faster, come on! Hurry up! Fucking move! Go! Well, it's day eight. Good job. Yeah, we've done really well getting this far. Is today day eight? Yes. yes. Is it? Is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think it was day seven? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought so. No, that was definitely yesterday. I'll be fucked. <clears throat> Holy shit, eh? The day is not done. No, I know. On the parade square! Oh god, here we go. As day gives way to night, the DS have another unexpected turn for the drained recruits. Just come, Maddie. Matt. Okay. Let's go, number 13. Get in there. What I have here are letters from home. That's down to you, whether you want to read them or not. 
Hopefully they give some of you the strength to push through. Others, you may not want to read them, that's completely up to you. When I was on operations, I wouldn't allow any distractions to come in. Any letters from home I would burn, just in case an external distraction altered my mindset. Does anyone not want to read their letter? Number 13? Yes, staff. Number 14? Yes, staff. Number 7? Yes, staff. Number 9? Yes, staff. Number 4? I might read it, staff. Number six. No, staff. No. No, staff. You don't want to read yours? No, staff. Come here. Grab it. Run around the parade square. Burn it. Go back into the accommodation. The reason why I'm doing SAS is I want to prove to many people out there that you can do anything you want, no matter who you are or where you come from. I love my family, but I'm guilty of being distracted very easily. And when you lose focus, you can go off track. And I want to be at the end, and I will do everything I can to be at the end. You thought it would break you? Yeah. Who was it? Probably my mum. Yeah. Like, I know it would have, like, hit me. Mm. Yeah. And I know they will be thinking of me, so... Yeah. I'm sweet. Yeah. Do you want to go first, or shall I? You go. OK. Bub, words can't describe how proud I am of you. I hope you can see now what I have seen in you all these years. You're the most talented, kind, and special person I've ever known and the love of my life. Oof. <laughs> I have every faith you'll get through this and come out the other side a better person. I haven't been the best husband. You know, I've lived with anxiety for my whole life. He obviously knows that I'm an Olympic champion. I've done these amazing things. So it's hard for him to see who that person was. And so I want to bring some of that old person back and be a better husband. I love you, Matthew Mitchum. I can't wait to give you a big kiss and hug, but until then, stay strong and do it for the gays. <laughs> finish, finish. <laughs> that's, that's cute. I want to bring some of that athlete back and start tackling my life goals. Yes. You got this, Tim. Yeah, I already teared up before reading yeah. <laughs> uh, To my darling husband, firstly, you know how incredibly proud Ellen and I are of you. The SAS course is tough, bloody tough, I know. Take each day as they come and focus on the task at hand. Remember, anticipation is worse than participation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is scared shitless for me. <laughs> she thinks I'm going to fall apart. I know when she did it last year, I was like, I'm glad you're doing it because there's no way I could do it at that stage. Mentally, I could do it, but physically, I couldn't. My body is starting to let me down in certain ways, and it can affect me as a person, my energy with my wife, with my kid. So my motivation to do the course is to prove to myself that I'm not done yet. Don't worry about what's next. You can't control it. And if you don't beat me, you'll never live it down. <laughs> <laughs> If that's not enough motivation for you, I don't know what is. Love number 12. Um, and L drew this. Oh, that's, that's gold. T, 
you want me to read yours for you? <laughs> you no, I'll be okay, I think. When you're away on operations and special forces, having a letter from home can sometimes be a double-edged sword. We all know that you have been through so much in life that you can get through anything when you put your mind to it. Love you more than anything. Keeks, XOXO. <laughs> Some will draw strength. It can raise your morale, it can give you a sense of purpose and understanding and a connection with your loved ones back home. I miss you so very much and it's not the same here at home without you. You've always had a way of rising to the occasion and taking on any new challenge with determination, perseverance and that all so cool and calm manner of yours. You have grit, you've got this Craig. Love you lots, Heather. Sometimes I've seen the opposite effect. People are just a little bit emotionally fragile, then it can send them into a downward spiral. And ultimately, this will bleed out onto the battlefield. Okay, well, just go with me on this because I didn't pack my reading glasses. <laughs> Let's see if your arms are long enough. <laughs> <laughs> my darling Mac, that's me. I'm not going to be too soppy and too romantic because we both agreed the longer I don't hear from you, the better, because it means you're getting through the course. You are amazing and I'm in awe of what you have achieved. After the shock of everything that has been said about me, I suffer extreme social anxiety. I find it very difficult even to go to a local cafe. Poor old Vanessa's had to get my coffee now for five years. She must, <laughs> she must hate that. You, you will come out of it a better, stronger person. Just keep going, my love, just keep going for both of us. Hard to imagine, isn't it? A bloke who shared jokes with the Queen Mum and performed in front of 25,000 people in a football stadium and now I can't walk to my friend's cafe. That's profound social anxiety. I'll be there at the end, I adore you. Yours, Nessie. The big thing that I'd, I'd love to be able to take away from this is being able to feel safe again in the company of others. Oh, what a gift. Good. Can I have a group cuddle? Should yeah. we have a group cuddle? <laughs> Are you okay? Are you all right? Mwah. Bring it in. Yeah. <sighs> all right. Well done, guys. Proud of each and every one of you for, yeah. Same, same. Same, same. same. Good job. Adios. Coming up. Everybody, everybody. Know why you fucking here? The beasting to end all beastings. We will not stop until somebody BWs. Who will outlast the brutality? Think about what you're doing here. And who will succumb to the pain? Give us your fucking numbers and fuck off. Even though I didn't get to read mine, like, I felt a bit of comfort from your guys. Aww. Yeah, like, good. Like, to hear that you's got it. Yeah. It makes me feel good, too. Yeah. Once you set your course, you just got to go through with it, don't you? After a psychological and emotional test of letters from their loved ones, the recruits turn in for the night. But the day is far from over, as the DS now want to see if their connection with home has strengthened their resolve or broken it, making good on their promise to deliver an almighty beast. Fire, everybody, out of your Let's fucking go, team for team. Let's go. Make sure you fucking make it. Let's go. Come on! Let's fucking look lively, number nine. Hurry the fuck up. Determined to remove the weakest recruit, Come on! the DS will subject them surprise, to relentless surprise. pain and suffering, not stopping until someone voluntarily withdraws from the course. Get down in the press-up position. Hurry up. Hold it. 
hurry up, number fucking seven. Unless you want to give me your fucking armband. In a fucking press up position. You know why you're fucking here? This will keep going until one of you VW. I fucking mean it. Want to prolong your suffering? Then fucking stay here. If not, give us your numbers and fuck off. If I was in a situation where VW was a thought, I would then think about the reason why I started SAS. The challenge, my family, inspiring others. I don't want to inspire people to give up. When I say go, you will sprint round the parade square and back onto your spots. Go, move, hurry up, do not be last, hurry up, hurry up. Go, keep going. Fucking catch him, number four. Come on, you're out. Catch him. No overtake here. Think about being last, number seven. Let's see if you can get out. Pace. Number 14, you can stop all their suffering right now. Give me your fucking number and they can go to bed. It's going to be a long night, isn't it? We're doing the week a favour. Hurry up. Catch the person in front. Catch the person in front. Number 14, I suggest you have a fucking good look at yourself and have a good look at the fucking team and maybe do the honourable thing. Stop them from suffering. It's going to be a long night. Now it's going to be a long fucking night. Trust me. Especially the speed of you fuckers. Hurry up, number four. Fucking Get back on your pensioners. spot. Start fucking banging out press-ups. Hurry up. Start banging them out. Press-ups, go. go. Start banging out press-ups. They're not press-ups, are they? Get that ass down. Get off your fucking knees, number four. Start banging out proper press-ups. <laughs> Hurry up, number nine. Number nine with these running illusions. If you're fucking suffering, I suggest you do the right thing. At the moment, there's a lot of doubt with things. There's a doubt in the ability of my body now, physically. But we will not stop until somebody VWs. And to know that you you gave it everything you've got, you can't ask more of yourself than that. I didn't come all this way to be taken out. When I say go, you will all jump into the tank. Go! Move! Go! Go! Move! 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 Let's see some aggression! Consider that a treat. Get here, start fucking crawling. Go, hurry up. Get past the person in front of you. Get your ass down, number four. Number seven. You're fucking dead, number seven. Get in here, number seven. You are fucking miles behind. Number seven, fucking hell, look at the rest of your fucking team. Why are you always at the fucking rear? It's not fucking good enough. Stop. Not good enough. You is a fucking burden. Stop. Get your ass down, start crawling. Seven, get a move on. Holding the team back. Beastings are an essential part of SAS selection. Now, number nine, you are like an empty wetsuit. It wears the recruits down. It pushes them to a state of exhaustion. It's here that we separate the weak from the strong. Because we are going to go all night. Unless you're fucking dying, number nine, I suggest you get fucking crawling. Do you think it's good enough, number nine? Do you think it's good enough? No stuff. No stuff. Move faster there. <laughs> Do you think the rest of your team think it's good enough, number nine? No, sir. <laughs> your body's gonna give up on you now. Tomorrow, they will not last. Fat. I need to see the dog. What's up? I need to see the dog. What's up? It's my... It's my... Like a hot knife through fucking butter. You know I wouldn't fucking... Stand up. Stand up. All right. Let's see the chief instructor. 80% face, 20% effort right now, isn't it? Don't think we know your fucking secrets. Come here, number nine. You know. What do you want to do, number nine? Make a decision. Just going to see the doctor. What do you want to do? Make a decision. Make a decision. If you can't carry on, you're going to let the team down tomorrow on the ground. I suggest you fucking hand your number in and stop the suffering. You're not going to be able to fucking make it tomorrow when you fucking do shit ten times as hard as this. Make a decision. <sighs> Give us your number, because it's not going to get any fucking easier, number nine. 
Don't be a fucking idiot. Give me your number and this will fucking stop. Six inches above the ground. Make a fucking difference. In a ferocious beasting designed to force a voluntary withdrawal. Get your feet off now. Number nine Craig has a decision to make. Withdraw and stop the suffering for his fellow recruits. Because it's not going to get any fucking easier, number nine. Or continue on until he or someone else can go no further. What do you want to do? Don't be a fucking idiot. Give me your number and this will fucking stop. Psychologically, I have what it takes. I've worked too hard and faced too many challenges to just pack it in. Make a decision now. So will the day. So uh, we'll make a decision today. Tomorrow is a different day. I can't let him down. Too much pain there. Look at me. I've done the right thing. Because tomorrow you would have been left on the fucking ground like a fucking idiot by yourself with no one to come and pick you up. I didn't want to let you down. No, so. you haven't let us down. You've fucking done amazing. Absolutely amazing. Your body's fucking giving up on you. That's it. Amazing. Tomorrow you won't last. Fact. Fact. It's going out, doing the right thing for yourself and for your muckers. And going out with fucking pride and fucking having done everything on this course. Fucking amazing effort, amazing effort. Like go into the medical room and wait out for the doctor. Let's go! Move! Hurry up! Hurry up! For me to take my armband off. What's that, number six? What the fuck is that? I will have to be broken, you know, physically. Good effort, number nine. If the machine breaks down, there's nothing I can do about it. Incredible. Thanks, Stand up! Hurry up! Get up quick. Satisfied with number nine's withdrawal, the DS call an end to the torture. You're in for a fucking rude awakening tomorrow. And the fucking next day if you make it that fucking far. A rude awakening. I'm actually trying to do some of you a fucking favour. Rather than fucking losing your dignity and your pride out there. Because some of you are just not fucking cutting it at the moment. When I say go, disappear into the accommodation, sort your shit out, sort yourselves out, and fucking stand by. Go, move! Move, number seven! Don't be last! Don't be last! Do not be last! Surprise, surprise, oh number God. seven! Oh my God! Oh my God! I'm sorry. If we're doing another fucking beasting, I'm out. Come out here, I'll hose you off. Oh, star, I'm just so fucking Listen, gutted. listen, listen, you wouldn't have been able to do tomorrow. You've done the right thing. You made the right choice to you know that. You've done the right thing. You'll end up fucking seriously hurting yourself or seriously ruining everything that you've done up to now on this course. Such a I've seen you today. fucking That's change such... over fucking night. I've seen you let down your fucking guard overnight. This is the reason why I do this course, for people like you. This is gonna fucking change you and change your fucking life and change your world. And I wanted you going out on your fucking shield, not being left out on the fucking ground. Very selfless fucking decision there. That was a great decision to make for the for the team because you were doing. no, it's been honestly, it's been such a pleasure having you on my course. And you'll be someone that sticks in my head for a fucking very long time. Oh, same, same. <laughs> I mean that. Muck us for life. Man. Yeah. Thanks for having me.
<laughs> I've never been so glad not to hear from you in my entire life for this long. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no good. Look, I've made it all the way, can you believe, to the midnight of the eighth day. Unbelievable. I, I'm, I'm blown away. I can't believe it. Well, I've just... Oh, my God, you must have some stories. I've just been dragged straight out of the dunk pond, the ice pond thing, rolling oh. around in the dirt, and then I said, listen, I'm... I'm, I'm my goose is cooked. So... Oh, God, I'm so proud of you. We're all so proud of you. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's unbelievable. What they bring to the table beyond pain, <laughs> physical pain, has been extraordinary, beyond what I imagined it could be. It's a gruelling, um, stressful, but a profoundly powerful thing to do. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye-bye. If you can get through challenges and you can be stronger for it, then the challenge is worth it. I did come in to the course with all sorts of personal issues, having gone through a number of years of trauma, really. I really lost sight of who I was. I'm leaving with a real sense of who I am. I'm leaving with trust in people again. Well, it's been a life-changing experience, really. I feel very privileged to be invited along. <laughs>